In this video, I'm going to show you how to color grade your footage without having to use LUTs, and that is right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into the video. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rucker Films, and yes, in today's video, we're talking all about color grading your footage, and we're doing that right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, I showed you my color grading process on a previous video this year, but that showed you that I use LUTs, and many people ask for a video without LUTs. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you have some footage on your timeline, we can begin with this process. And as you can see, on my timeline, I have this log footage of me doing a backflip on Waterloo Bridge in London. Now, as I just mentioned, this footage is log, which means I didn't shoot in Rec. 709 and I didn't shoot in a highly contrasted or highly saturated mode. I shot as flat as the camera can go, and this means I've got more room in the edit to color grade. Now, this looks extremely flat and there is no detail whatsoever, so I'm going to start by adding some levels. So in the effects tab, we're going to search for levels. That should be in adjust. And then we just drop that on to the footage. Now I'm going to increase the black input level to a higher number to add some contrast. And we'll decrease the white input level down to around 200. And as you can see, if I turn this on and off, that's instantly added some instant contrast to the footage. Now I'm going to go down into effects and we'll search for fast color corrector. Drop fast color corrector on top of levels. Make sure it's on top, not underneath. We're going to start by adding a little bit of warmth into this shot by using this color wheel. So we'll drag this white circle over to one of the sides. And as you can see, if I drag it all the way over, it's going to look extreme. It's going to be really intense and that's not what we want. So we'll just push this very subtly towards the orange channel. And that's just going to add a little bit of warmth to the video. Now we'll go down to saturation and we'll increase the saturation up to around 150. And as you can see, especially in the trees in the background and these cones in the foreground, you can see we've got more color in the image. Now, moving on, we can go ahead and we can start to stylize the color of this footage. So in effects, we're gonna search for three way color corrector and that should be in the obsolete folder. Drop that on top of the footage and as you can see, we've got shadows, midtones, and highlights here. So if I pull the shadows all the way over, you can see it's going to affect the shadows. You can see an example of this down on this shadow here. So I'm going to push that slightly towards the blue channel. The midtones, as you can see, there's a lot more going on here versus the shadows. I'm going to push this towards the orange channel just a touch. And then the highlights, that's going to be the sky, or you've got the scaffolding here, which is white. And as you can see, I can have add a yellow tone to it, green tone, blue tone, purple tone. I want to be very subtle with this again, but I'm going to push this again towards yellows and oranges just to add more warmth to the shot. Now, that's starting to look really nice. From here, I'm going to go into effects and search for levels again. We'll drop levels on the bottom of everything that we've added so far. And we're going to increase the contrast again. So we'll pull up the black input level. We'll pull down the white input level. And as you can see, that's starting to look really nice. Now from here, I'm going to go into the effects tab and I'm going to search for curves. And that should come up with RGB curves. I'm going to drop RGB curves onto the video. And as you can see, we've got the master channel, we've got the red channel, we've got the green channel, and we've got the blue channel. And we can isolate each one of these channels and edit them on their own. So I'm gonna start with the red channel. We're gonna increase the highlights in the red. We're gonna decrease the reds in the shadows. So as you can see, it's making the tarmac a bit more blue. Then we'll go down to the green channel. We'll very subtly increase the highlights in the green, and then we'll decrease the shadows in the green. If you want to adjust the midtones as well, you can do so by pulling in the middle of the curve. I'm just going to add a little bit of green in the midtones. And then we'll go over to blues. And as you can see, we can increase or decrease the shadows. I'm going to keep the shadows where they are though. I'm going to increase the highlights just a little bit, and then we'll pull down the midtones just a touch. In fact, now I'm going to increase the midtones a touch. And we're going to 
go up to the master channel. And again, I'm going to add a little bit more contrast to this. So I'm going to decrease the shadows. And then I'm going to increase the highlights. And that's starting to look really nice. Now, I'm not quite done there yet. There's one more thing that I want to do to really finish that off, and that is to restore some of that highlight detail. So, holding on to the original video, I'm going to hold Option on the keyboard, and I'm going to pull that video up onto Video Layer 2, and that should make a perfect copy of that video. Now, we're going to zoom out, so we're going to press Fit, and we'll zoom to 50%, and we're just going to draw a mask around the top half of the video, so that is the sky. Just draw a mask roughly around the sky. It doesn't need to be perfect at all. This can be super rough. And once you've done that, we can go back to fit so we can zoom in again. We'll increase the mask feather in mask one all the way up to around 100. Then we'll go into the first set of levels and then we'll pull the RGB gamma down to around 80%. And as you can see, the feathering isn't as soft as we want it to be. So we're going to go back into mask one, mask feather, and we'll increase the mask feather all the way up to around 250. Nice. That looks really cool. So we'll close levels down and we're going to add another case of RGB curves on top of that video. So this is video layer two. We'll go to the red channel. And as you can see, if we start moving this around, then only the sky is going to be affected. So if I decrease the highlights on the red channel, we get a nice blue sky. Of course, don't overdo this. If you pull this all the way down to somewhere like this, it's going to look really fake and really obviously overly edited. So just pull this down just a little bit, just so we start to see those blues really starting to pop. And again, we might need to increase that feathering because you can really see the white sky starting to creep into the video. So go mask one and we'll pull the feather all the way up again. And that looks a lot more believable. Now, if I turn video layer two off, you'll see just what this is doing. It's really adding a little bit more color information into the sky. Now, if I hold option on the keyboard and we select video layer one and we pull that all the way up to video layer three, we'll delete everything from video layer three. So delete all of those plugins, all of those presets. And as you can see, if we toggle this layer on and off, you can see just how much color information and how much color grading we've applied to this footage. LUTs are a really easy and really simple way of getting really cinematic video footage, but you don't need LUTs in order to get a good color grade. If you spend the time in levels, RGB curves, three-way color corrector and the fast color corrector and many other tools and plugins, then you can get a really awesome and really cinematic looking video. So there you go. That is how I color correct and color grade my footage without using LUTs right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And if you feel like you learned something or if this was beneficial in any way at all, then please do let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you are subscribed already, then I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.